This morning, new concerns that a contagious mutation of the coronavirus, said to be 50% more infectious and spreading quickly in the UK, is already here in the US. Given the travel throughout the world, I would not be surprised if it's already here. When we start to look for it, we're going to find it. New York's governor now insisting all UK travelers be tested for COVID before arriving at JFK. Why you wouldn't take action and require that people who fly to this country be tested first is beyond me. I mean, how many times do you have to make the same mistake in life? Dr. Fauci says the need for a full-on travel ban from the UK is premature. I don't think that there's enough evidence right now to essentially lock down any travel from the UK. But there is good news. Experts believe the new vaccines offer protection against the new strain. Code blue, I see you north, bed 18. Code blue, I see you north, bed 18. It comes as the very hospitals where Americans turn for help are now in need of their own. People should be afraid. I'm afraid. We are getting crushed. The shifting epicenter of the COVID crisis, crippling the health care system in California, a state overrun with nearly 44,000 new coronavirus cases each day. Our ISOs overwhelmed with patients, so we're going to double bunk them in here. This video, taken by the Washington Post, capturing one hospital in need of a lifeline. I can tell you how many patients I have watched die watch die alone. And California is not alone. In Utah, ICUs are at 99.4% capacity. Oklahoma, Tennessee, and Texas have among the highest number of cases per capita. Since Thanksgiving, more than 54,000 Americans have lost their lives to COVID. And now Christmas travel is showing the biggest surge since the start of the pandemic, with more than 1 million Americans going through TSA checkpoints over each of the last three days. There was not one empty seat on the plane. This morning, the American Academy of Pediatrics is also reporting over 182,000 new child COVID cases last week alone. That's the highest weekly increase since the pandemic began, but severe cases of illness among children are rare.